The eleventh reason why I do not believe in evolution is because humans all have 46 chromosomes, whereas apes all have 48 chromosomes. In the 1980s, evolutionists were arrogant about man having evolved from apes, but today that scenario is downplayed. It is downplayed because no one can explain why humans all have 46 chromosomes, while all four species of apes all have 48. If humans and apes evolve from the same lines, then why don't some apes have 46 chromosomes? Or conversely, why don't some humans have 48 chromosomes? Their answer is always the same, and that answer is, only one mutation has survived with the passing of time. Really? In all the millions of years, are we going to use that one mutation survival answer yet again? Think of it. Here we supposedly have a mutation that is so powerful that it has defined every human on planet Earth. Likewise, that same mutation has defined every ape on the planet Earth. How magnificently powerful that mutation has proven to be. What success it has experienced. But by the way, it only happened one time. Is this the best explanation you have? It only happened one time? This seems so mathematically improbable and certainly is not supported by scientific data. It is, however, a great example of the science fiction that is so readily accepted by many people who are smart enough to know better.